Uh, I'm speaking with Gord McPherson, who along with his wife Reed, farm in the Holtby sub-watershed, which is part of the Kettle uh, Webby project. And Gord, you were on this property uh, back 25 years ago when the Sweet project was underway. How has that worked for you over the years? Uh, actually, it's worked out really well. Um, actually, there is you know, a fair bit of erosion there coming into that area. And uh, we put a pig and bottom and a fairly good-sized berm there. There's one that's got to be about probably 10 feet high. And uh, that's it's worked out. And I think, well, with this last project, we've seen quite a bit of soil collection in there from from the land from the upper part of that uh Bowl. When we installed that uh, terrace this past uh, summer, and we saw where there was about at least two feet of soil, top yeah. soil, I guess, down in that uh, in the uh, berm catchment area, did that open your eyes at all? It was no, kind of, it was that, kind of a that, shock. Was, that was a big thing. Would we say there was? Well, our the contractor figured there was what 50 loads, uh, dump truck loads came out of there. So that was amazing that there's that much soil had moved yeah. from the top part of the hill down into that basin. Yeah. Um, did that when you saw that? amount of soil that came off, I guess, the side slopes there, did that kind of, uh, did that have any influence on your decision maybe to do some other work on the farm? Yeah, that's, you know, like when you and Don came in and had some ideas about, about maybe slowing down the displacement of soil and, and nutrients uh, even more in the upper part of that uh, slope, then, you know, that sure makes a difference. And, the, and there still was erosion there carrying on, even though we did have that bigger L-shaped uh, berm yeah. lower. Yes, there was still stuff going on there. Yeah. Um, say from from 25 years ago, like, did you notice um, any changes on your farm? Like, has there been extreme weather is kind of a key thing that's going on these days. I don't know whether rainfall intensity is yeah. is, is greater. Do you notice that on your property, and has that affected uh, the way you've uh, managed the farm at all, or made decisions with regards to some of the BMPs that? Yes. Installed? Our farm here, we haven't mulberd and plowed for probably, <laughs> I can't even remember if we even have had mulberd plowed this farm in the last 25 years. I don't think we have. Is that, right? that in itself, leaving corn stalks on most of the the area has made quite a difference, you know, as far as slowing things down. But you still, with the big rain events we have, that you still end up with that real erosion and, and those, the, the sharper slopes you just can't help, but... Uh, making those gullies and, and uh, certain areas that they just seem to get worse. You try to fill them in, but they just wash out again. Yeah, you've tried to put do yeah. some things to stop them from eroding. But yeah, like you you know, you, you take a cultivator and loosen up the dirt and then take a blade and try to fill it in, and then it seems like in three or four days you get another big rain event and it just all washes out again. Yeah, and so It just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So when you and Don came through with this idea of putting in smaller type berms with Higgin bottoms, you know, that was, sounded like a pretty good idea to me. Yeah. Um, if, um, you know, if we hadn't come in with that type, those types of ideas, or just to give you some, some things to consider there, do you think you would have done that on your own, or was it, uh, or do you, would you, um, uh, No, that? it's probably, <laughs> I think it takes, you know, people like yourselves or whatever to come in and, you know, you see those ideas and, and there's money available, which makes a huge difference. Uh, that uh, you, you realize that this is something that you should do, mm -hmm. and uh, it's I, so we're just at the initial stage now to see how much of a difference it's going to make. We haven't had a lot of rainfall, so you know since we put those in, but I think it's going to make a huge difference. I guess when they started with this sweet thing 25 years ago, it was basically focused on phosphorus runoff. Yeah. And then, you know, it was kind of an eye-opener how much actually nutrients do end up. You just don't think of it from being here this far from a lake that, you know, the nutrients would end up all the way from here into the lake. But definitely that's, that's what happens. So, you know, and having these different kind of structures or whatever on your farm definitely will slow down that uh, those nutrients entering into a, you know, a lake or whatever and causing further problems as far as pollution. You know, definitely if you can stop the erosion, you know, in in the field itself, so you don't have areas maybe where you have to work around so they become non productive. And that those areas are gonna even get worse. So you, you by doing these kind of structures you actually make more of your land area more available. Mm -hmm. And then you're also 
holding that soil in that area so it's for the fertility of that soil should be better so in the end you should end up with better yields so that, that's your economic benefit um, when when we came out of the farm with the Brad and Don and I and we presented some some ideas um, were you open to those all the ideas that we suggested or were, what was your comfort level in uh, I guess, I guess the first thing that comes into your head, you know, like how much is this going to cost? You know, like it's got to be something that we can handle within our cash flow and doesn't make sense. And then, you know, once you start talking about numbers and and uh, what you're going to do, then you think, well, geez, that sounds like it's really worthwhile. It's going to make quite a difference. And then, and then it's, you just, let's go for it. You know, and it's, with the people that we got here putting the berms in and, and everything's all worked out with your expertise and Brad's and and uh, it went really smooth. Then we had good weather. We had good weather. <laughs> <laughs> we, liked we, had, we had excellent weather to put those berms in because it was fairly dry and you couldn't ask for any yeah. you know better weather conditions to construct those berms. We did luck it. Yeah. We we learned so much from Sweep. Yeah. That was an awesome program, and that like and and we had such good results from that. So makes us very open to any new results.